Hey guys, welcome back. Just a couple of days ago, my channel hit 2,000 subscribers, which is really awesome. And as a thank you and to celebrate this milestone for my channel, I decided to film my night routine because you guys have been requesting it ever since I posted my morning routine, which will be linked down below if you want to watch that after you're done with this video. As soon as it starts to get dark outside, I like to go around the house closing all the windows just to have a little bit more privacy out since we do live in an apartment building. And I like to go around the house turning on the lamps which are much dimmer lights than my kitchen light for example. And I also like to turn on the fireplace because it just looks so cheerful. Something that I also really like to do is to light a candle or two. Um, there's just something about the flame that is just so peaceful and it just really helps me to wind down in the evening. Next, it's time to change Marcus's diaper, and, and he was very, very close to falling asleep in this shot, as you can tell. Um, I like to use the Honest Company diapers. I don't always give Marcus a bath, but when I do, I like to do it in the evening because it just really helps him fall right asleep. And I like to wash him with his Burt's Baby B soap. He didn't need a bath this time though, so we just went straight to putting on his pajamas. And as you can tell, he is getting pretty wiggly. He, he is so close to crawling, I think it just makes him really want to be mobile and he, yeah, he just never stops moving and it makes it a little bit hard to put on his pajamas, especially because this pillow kept distracting him. It's one of his favorites and he just wanted to play with it the whole time. And it makes it kind of difficult to zip up the pajamas. After he's in his pajamas, I will typically nurse him and then sing him a couple lullabies. Sometimes he falls asleep while I sing to him and sometimes I end up putting him to bed while he's still awake and he just falls asleep after a few minutes or so. But tonight he just fell right asleep and it's always so sweet when he falls asleep in my arms. I just love that. Next I just put him in his crib, he loves to sleep with his pacifier in his mouth, but after he falls asleep he just kind of loses it. He's just such a sweet, chill baby, he makes it really easy to stick to a night routine. Next it's time for me to get him to my pajamas, I'm just going to put on my shorts with lots of cute little coffee pots on them and my tank top that says give me coffee now. I don't take a shower every night but when I do I like to use my Origins Microdermabrasion Exfoliating Cleanser. Um, it's just a lot easier to rinse it off my face when I'm in the shower and it's something I only use once or twice a week because it is pretty abrasive. And then before I put on my PJs or after my shower, I will always put my bio oil on my stretch marks. This stuff is amazing and it's really helping them fade. Just like with my morning routine, I go in with my micellar cleansing water to cleanse my face. This also takes my makeup off, so I typically put some on a cotton round um, once to go over my face to get all the makeup off and then get another cotton round and use it to cleanse. But I work from home today and I just didn't bother to put any makeup on, so I only had to cleanse my skin once. And then also, same as my morning routine, I will go in with my Origins AM and PM serum and then my Origins High Potency Night Cream. This is the moisturizer I'm using right now and it is amazing. And also, same as my morning routine, I go in with my Origins Eye Cream. Next, I just quickly comb through my hair. Sometimes I just sleep with it down, but um, tonight I decided to put it in a braid. It kind of just has been helping my hair not get um, a funny bedhead part down the back. So sometimes I try to do that. I always have really chapped lips, so I never forget to put on my First Aid Beauty Lip Therapy Balm. Next, something that I don't do every night, but I find that it really helps me to wind down and relax by making myself a cup of tea. Um, I love to do a chamomile tea, but tonight I'm having a yogi um, stress relief. This one is really good. Um, 
yeah, like I said, I don't do this every night, but it's something that really helped me to wind down. Sometimes if I can't sleep, I will get up and make myself a cup of tea, and it just really helps me to fall asleep a little easier and makes my overall sleep a little bit better that night. Typically I have a little free time during this part, so either Daniel and I will watch some Netflix, I'll be editing a video, but tonight Marcus decided that he wanted to wake up and he decided to join me. Pup always goes to bed on his own at night when he gets tired, but I called him out of his kennel because I wanted to show you guys how cute he is getting into bed by himself. He is such a smart dog and yeah, he loves having a night routine too, apparently. As always, I like to refill my water bottle every night and keep it on my bedside table just in case I get thirsty during the night. Something I've been doing the past month or so is turning my phone on airplane mode. That way your alarm still works but you don't get any text messages or any kind of notification and it just really helps to not have my sleep interrupted at all because now that I'm a mom, sleep is very precious to me. The less interruptions I get during the night, the better. Tonight Daniel wasn't home, he actually has two jobs. His second one is doing Uber so that's where he was during this night routine. About 9 p.m. I usually get into bed and go to sleep and that's the end of my night routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button if you did and always subscribe if you haven't already done that and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye guys!